Brendan Kelly, CEO and founder of SmartLink, Driven, and Chesapeake Sports Entertainment Group. Well, I think it starts with the people, right? Every great team is about the, the, the people, right? The coach is only so much the coach can do without the players. So I think, I think the most important part to all that is, is hiring correctly um, and, uh, and holding a high standard and a high bar to excellence, right? And, and not letting mediocrity slip in because I think that's crucial to the success of each of the companies individually and as a whole. So for me, they do feed off each other a lot. There's plenty of times where owning a pro sports team and being the owner of SmartLink in a SmartLink meeting in Dallas, Texas with AT&T or in Seattle with, with uh, T-Mobile, I tend to find out when they find out I own a pro lacrosse team, I spend 80% of my time talking about the pro lacrosse team because their kids are playing for the first time. So it's, a, it's, it's really been a big marketing boost to, to SmartLink in the arm from when we sponsored SmartLink teams to owning a pro lacrosse team now in the sports entertainment piece. I think everybody's Nobody really grows up and says they're going to go build cell towers the rest of their life. But I think everybody dreams about playing sports or owning a sports franchise. So it's a real common thread to, to communicate and connect with people uh, and driven in and smart link. Um, and I think in the, obviously on the Bayhawk side and in the sports side, Chesapeake Sports Entertainment Group side, owning smart link and driven uh, gives it a lot of validity of the, of the product and the company that it's backed well and it's, it's there so they feed off each other very well. Um, and then again, Driven, I think, feeds off of both of those companies because, you know, it's a Driven is actually the only inter international company I have. You know, uh, people see it more as a regional player, but it's actually my only one that's international. So we do runs in South Africa and London and Hong Kong and, uh, and, and uh, through our concierge program. Um, so it's very interesting. They really feed off each other quite well. And at the end of the day, if you peel away what industries they're in, it's all about customer service and over delivering. So it's pretty easy to stay focused on each of them because to me, the meeting's almost every single, the same almost every single day, no matter which one I'm talking about. It's where's the bar, what's the level of customer service we're delivering, and how are we doing on execution, right? And what's our growth strategy around that? Um, probably the three biggest differences of the companies is, is the customer base. You know, SmartLink's a very concentrated, small customer base around carriers. T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, Crown American Tower, the tower owner specifically. Driven's got about 160 clients that it has now and has a concentrated customer base at some level, much greater than SmartLink. And then for Chesapeake Sports Entertainment Group, everybody in this room is a potential customer. And everybody walking the street outside is a potential customer. So the customer base is ginormous in this market. And it's, you know, 39 million people living in a four-hour four range of us. So there's a potential to get 40 million people involved in Chesapeake Park or Chesapeake Sports Entertainment Group or the Bayhawks or legendary sports events. So it's really a much broader brush from customers.